Hi friends, I'm Dave Barclow, pastor of Fort Walton Beach First United Methodist. Welcome to the Pastor Study, our daily devotional to help us focus our mind on the things of God. I hope that you're having a great Easter season. Uh, I am so thankful uh, that from Easter Sunday into Pentecost Sunday, the great 50 days, uh, we get to put this special emphasis on the fact that Jesus is alive, that he's resurrected from the dead, that he ascended uh, to the Father, has sent us the Holy Spirit so that we can have salvation in his name and be his body here on earth. So this is a, a wonderful time of year. We're going to pick up our devotionals right where we left off in the Gospel of Mark. So we're, we're kind of uh, rewinding in liturgical time uh, to before the resurrection, to before the crucifixion. Uh, but I think it helps us think about uh, this season well, to think about the ministry of Christ uh, as he went to the cross and rose uh, from the dead. So we'll be starting in Mark chapter 15, verses 6 through 15. Now, the fest now at the festival, he, that's Pilate, used to release a prisoner for them, for anyone whom they asked. Now, a man called Barabbas was in prison with rebels who had committed murder during the insurrection. So the crowd came and began to ask Pilate to do for them according to his custom. Then he answered them, Do you want me to release for you the king of the Jews? For he realized that it was out of jealousy that the chief priest had handed him over. But the chief priests stirred up the crowd to have him release Barabbas for them instead. Pilate spoke to them again, Then what do you wish me to do with the man you call the king of the Jews? They shouted back, Crucify him. Pilate asked them, Why? What evil has he done? But they shouted all the more, Crucify him. So Pilate, wishing to satisfy the crowd, released Barabbas for them. After flogging Jesus, handed him over to be crucified. And truly, this is... A, a disturbing passage, uh, a passage where uh, Pilate, who we know is a brutal Roman governor, is still seeking to, to do the right thing. He sees no fault in Jesus. Jesus hasn't done anything wrong, and he, so he wants to release him. At the same time, though, he's afraid of the crowd, and he's afraid of what they might do. He, there's a bunch of extra people in Jerusalem. Unrest could spread quickly, and so to keep the peace, uh, he does what he, he goes against his own conscience and does what he knows uh, he shouldn't do, and hands Jesus over. It, it's easy for us to do the same, and to go along with the crowd, to not stand up for what we know is right. Uh, and so it, here is, is a challenge for us to not be like Pilate. And Pilate hands over this man named Barabbas. Uh, the name Barabbas, uh, Bar means son, uh, Abba means father. Uh, and so Barabbas's name literally means like son of daddy, any man's son. And so Barabbas, uh, even in his name, uh, connotes the fact that, that Barabbas isn't just being let off as, as a person here, but any man's son, in fact, every man's son and daughter, is being let off by what Jesus is going through. That we all find freedom as any man's son, as any man's daughter. We all find freedom because Christ was willing to take this condemnation uh, for us he stands in our place here uh, in this moment in, in a way that I don't particularly understand. I don't know how, it, how exactly how it works, but I, I, do know, uh, that, I do know that this is for you and that he, this is for me to show us what true love is and, and how it is that, that we can walk in the way that God wants us to do. So friends, let's remember, we're, we're any man's son, we're any man's daughter, uh, and Christ took our place. Thanks be to God. Remember, friends, I love you. Take care of yourselves and shine the light of Christ.